We are live, everybody. Hey, we're live. It's the Wang Macabre Radio Hour. In a very weird time. Folks, I'm Jeffrey Macabre, and this is the Wang Macabre Radio Hour, and we're at a very special location. Skate Girl! Come on down, Skate Girl! It's going to be fun! We're at a playhouse. Actually, it's not really a playhouse. It's the Supernatural (laughs) Drive-In. She did it! She went down! Oracle! Oracle's next. He's going down the slide next. We're all together this time. Isn't that great? Isn't that great? Isn't that dandy? Isn't that fun? We're here in Amarillo, Texas, ladies and gentlemen, at the Supernatural Drive-In, and we're getting ourselves ready for our last portal event of the year here in Amarillo, Texas. (laughs) Why don't we go on the slide now? Isn't this fun? There's a little thing you may not know about this slide. This is actually a slide from a real life murder case. Did you know that there was a horrible murder in an elementary school in Amarillo, Texas, and this plague set came from the location of that murder? And here we are at the top of the slide. Oh, look, Skate Girl and Oracle having a good time. I think we should too. Let's go down. Folks, Write in the comments. Let us know if you can make it to the Supernatural Drive-In. Hey, Timothy Arnwine and Christopher Maggard and Leonard Steinman. We're here in Amarillo, Texas. And I think it's time to go down the side. That's fun. We made it all the way from Los Angeles, Salem, New York City, Las Vegas. Now we're in Amarillo. And we're at the last portal event of the year. Skate Girl and Oracle are having a killer time. We're about to give away awards, present your movies, and have some fun tonight at the Supernatural Drive-In. But before we do that, hey, Timothy, why don't we start our opening video? The opener of the Way Macabre Radio Hour. This is a very unique one. We have some special surprises today, including a new celebrity guest of honor. Let's do it. Chris, good morning, everyone. And we have Jeffrey. Chris, good morning, everyone. And we have Jeffrey Macabre here with us this morning. We're talking about the Shock Fest Film Festival. Just scared Charday. And Jeffrey, thanks for waking up and putting on full makeup for us. We really appreciate it. Tell us about this Shock Fest Film Festival. Certainly. Welcome to the world of Shock Fest. It's not makeup, by the way. Welcome to the world of Shock Fest 13! Shock Fest 13! Year 13! Our 13th year anniversary! 13 years of cutting edge creativity where bad luck turns to good luck and anything negative turns into positivity. 13 years of cutting edge creativity. Our 13th year anniversary. Year 13. Shockfest 13. 13. Welcome to the world of Shockfest. Order your 13th year Shockfest good luck charms now. Only by Sinister Guitar Picks. It's me, Michael Graves. The pandemic scattered everyone. After the lockdowns, it went all bad. Vampires and undead, soulless beasts. The zombie mobs, they came for me. I evacuated the base, and I immediately started heading west towards Los Angeles, where I'm headed now for Shockfest. The Shockfest Spook Show. Shockfest Spook Show in Hollywood, California. On Friday the 13th. That's November the 13th. Can anyone hear me? going to be accepting some sort of award, some sort of award on Friday the 13th. Perform with Professor Wang, Jeffrey Macabre, and the rest of the musical misfits in the Shockfest Horror Factory. We're bringing the band back together. We're really going on tour. Prepare yourself as the portal opens up once again. Only at Shockfest Film Festival. It's me. Can anyone hear me? Hello? 
Hello! This is Professor Wang. I repeat, if you can hear me, type a message below. Can you hear me? Like I stated earlier, I am broadcasting live from a secret remote location. I am turning you on! My long frequency deep penetrating sound ejector is opening up the portal! We are both coming in for the Wang the Macabre! Car. A certain chick lies underground She cannot rest until she is found She's been dead and sort of blue I'll tell you why and you'll be in two Midnight and she sighs He hit a reply with camera clown that fun everybody we are here at the location of the supernatural drive-in in amarillo texas and we're about to get started hey timothy arnwine christopher maggard michael bergen good to see you joe o'connell good to see you joe rondo and bob folks it's about time to get started let's go take a look at some of these awards hey oracle and skate girl why don't you come with us we're gonna go take a look at some of these awards they're gonna be presenting at Jeffrey, Fox Fest this year. Jeffrey! Oracle! Jeffrey! Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Professor Wang! Jeffrey. Hello, Professor Coming Wang! It's good to hear you. Through the you. portal! Are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready! You made it through the portal already? <laughs> I have made it through! I see. You did! You're in Cadillac Ranch at Amarillo. Yes. I'm in a different location than you. I need to stay safe to make sure that I am not in the same location as you in case the Fembams arrive. Well, do your best. We got some friends from Shockfest here. We have the Oracle and Skate Girl. It's a shame hello, you're not Oracle, here, right? hello, We'd love girl, you to be hello. here, too. And we've got a very special friend of yours, Wang, the judge of Shockfest, Mr. Jeremy. Oh, look at this. It's Angelina. Welcome. Which part of London are you from, my dear? I am close to you. Hello, Jeremy. What part of what part of London? Oh, you must be talking to someone else. I'm here guarding the prestigious awards for this evening because, well, somebody has to. Not just this evening. We do have awards this evening, but we also have some very special trophies for our celebrity guests of honor, which we'll be giving away at Shockfest Film Festival. But for right now, we're here at the last portal event of the year, the Supernatural Drive-In. Jeffrey, hey, could we do a close-up? Ask Skagel to show us a close-up of the skull. I want to look at the crevices of the skull. Show us the skull, Skate Girl. Is that the Shockfest Award? That is the Shockfest Award to our celebrity guest of honor, Mr. Robert Zombie. Oh my goodness. Jeffrey, help me. I believe he goes by Rob. Rob Zombie? That's silly, Oracle. Nobody shortens their name. <laughs> That's it, folks. The official award that will be presented to our celebrity guest of honor at Shockfest Film Festival. We're about to get ready for the Supernatural Drive-In. Why don't we go take a look at some of our guests at the drive-in itself. Come on, guys, let's have some fun. The, the drive-in is it's still early, but people are just starting the, ooh. I think Skate Girl almost fell off. Almost broke her leg. That's fun. An hour and a half away from Brighton. That, that's correct. We are an hour and a half away. Michael Bergen says wicked, it is wicked, Michael. Oh, we got some more guests coming. That's exciting. How's it going, sir? Good to see you. Oh, we're going to have to say hello to a friend of ours, Mr. Nathan Withers from Buried Secrets Paranormal. Nathan, we're live. Oh, how's it going, guys? How's it going? 
It's on location filming right now. He's a paranormal investigator from Amarillo, Texas. And his team is going to be honored today with an award. Don't tell him. He heard nothing. Guys, let's go check this projector room out. Come on. What is this? What is this? An alien driving from the sky. Look at that. You know, I hear there's been an alien invading the Shockfest Wang Cobb radio hour, and I've seen him. He's been dancing of a storm at every episode the last two weeks. Looks like he's got some fans. We'll be setting this up real soon. But for right now, we got to get ourselves ready to go. We have a special guest today, Miss Sherry Davis, who joined us last Friday or last Saturday. And we are going to be honoring her as well with a screening of her movie tonight. Let's go take a look inside the projector room. This is the shed where people die at the supernatural drive-in. I'm gonna set this up right here. Hi everybody, it's nice and toasty here. Not like outside, it's actually freezing in Amarillo. But, oh, hey Scoop, pardon me Skate Girl, let me get out of your way. She wants to say hello. Say hi Skate Girl. Hello Skate Girl, how are you? You look amazing as well, Angelina. Thank you for joining us. Folks, this is the last portal event of the year until Shock Fest Film Festival. Shock Fest Film Festival will be Friday the 13th of November, but tonight we have a lot of surprises for all of you today. It's gonna be a lot of fun. In the meantime, Professor Wang, I see you made it back from Ca uh, Cadillac, Cadillac Ranch. I'm still here, Jeffrey. I need to stay here, but I will transport there right before it becomes dusk and the drive-in reveals the films tonight. For your sake, I certainly hope so. I'm gonna leave you guys hanging for a little while. It's almost time for us to get started at the Supernatural Drive-In, but I'm gonna leave you in capable hands with Professor Wang and our good friend, Sherry Davis, the filmmaker and actress. Jeffrey, if I may. Yes. Uh, for the viewers at home, if you happen to be in the Amarillo, Texas location, please swing by. There's plenty of room for everyone. That's correct. We're going to be Oracle, set Oracle, up come back. Just can, starting I, can, I, can I speak to Oracle really Oracle, quickly, back, please? Yes. I have a question. Can Oracle come here? I have a secret to whisper to him. Oracle, oh, I have a question. For sure. I will come right to you. I was yes. wondering, is it true what they say about Texas? That everyone is armed? No, I heard that everything is bigger in Texas. I can tell you this. This drive-in is one of the biggest drive-ins I've ever seen. And we just so happen to be in Texas. So your theory may prove correct. Oh, Oracle, one more thing. Timothy Arnwine mm -hmm. has said, hello, Oracle. Well, hello to you as well, Timothy, and everyone else watching live from home. Thank you for joining us, Oh, folks. one last thing, Dr. Do Doogood. Time, I, think. I think Dr. Doogood is watching. Hello, Dr. Doogood. Hello, Doctor. I hope you haven't been suffering from too many bad dreams. I know it's been tough out there, but don't worry. You're about to have a whole new transformation to a whole new woman. I promise. Well, Oracle. Yes. Let's get started. Shall we? Let's bring everybody into the capable hands of Miss Sherry Davis and get back to the supernatural drive-in. Folks, we look forward to seeing you there. Join us if you're in the Amarillo area. And stick around. We got something special to share with you today. Miss Sherry Davis. And if you give me a second, I'm going to... Punch her in. Shockfest, the most innovative film festival in horror history. I'm Brink Stevens. Shockfest is taking place in five major cities during the most devastating global pandemic of our time. And the winner is... Prepare yourself. Halloween never ends. You! Hey, baby, let me help you. 
Graham size. Hey, baby. Hey. Hey, Hello? Hello? This is Professor Wang. I repeat, if you can hear me, type a message below. Like I stated earlier, I am brought... I had to stop that right there for just a second because I had to let you all know. ABC Channel News, Channel 7 News just arrived. I'm about to be interviewed for local television. That's exciting. I actually asked if they could get on camera, but they said due to contractual obligations, they cannot. But I assure you, the truck just rolled in. Jeffrey, let's I'm gonna leave the truck. You back can, we, at least, can we see the truck? Let's go take a look. At least see the truck. Oh, Show Pete's. them the truck. If you look over there. Oh, Channel 7 News has arrived. Get a little closer, Jeffrey. All right, Jeffrey, a little bit closer. Where's that seven? Oh, it's not on the truck. <laughs> the filming. Oh, the well, right there. The truck. He's setting up the camera right now, but he specifically asked me not to point it in his direction. Oh, so okay. I'm not going to. Hey, let everyone listen and watch on Channel 7 tonight. If you're an Amarillo, that's the best thing to do. Watch tonight. It's actually going to be on tomorrow. Is that right? Tomorrow. It'll be on tomorrow. Let's go back Jeffrey, in the murder bar. I have, I have an yeah. idea. I've got an idea. Yeah. Make sure when you get interviewed, have Skate Girl and Oracle right next to you so all three of you could be in the shot. I already got that covered. I want them to be on camera, smiling, because I want everybody to see them. Let's go back to Sherry Davis. Folks, this is an exciting opportunity for us to be on camera and TV. Lord knows, I love being on camera with all of you every week. Who's in the comments? Alan Del Tufo? No, it is not the A-Team van. Might as well be, though. Hello, Chris. Crispo Biden from Siren. Good to see you, sir. We got something exciting for you. Keep your eye on the news. Keep your eye on the news. Keep your eye on the news. Also, Chris... Keep your eye on your email. You might be surprised by what you see. Live from a secret remote location. I am turning you on. My long frequency deep penetrating sound ejector is opening up the portal. We are both coming in for the Wang Macab. <laughs> A certain chick lies underground She cannot rest until she is found She's been dead and sort of blown I'll tell you why and you'll be in two Midnight she decides we need to be a friend Welcome to the world of Shockfest. I am Jeffrey McCobb, festival director and guide for weekly updates, information, tools, and resources for the filmmaker, enthusiast, and fans of the absurd, where you are the show. Let the Wang McCobb Radio Hour commence. How's everyone doing? Hey, guys, good to see you all. Thanks for joining us. Angela Joseph. Hey, great to see you. Leonard Steinman and Charles Govey, as always. Charles, it was just your birthday the other day. Good job, ah, Michael Bergen. The portal is open, and we're about to bring in Professor Wang. It's a very special episode today. It's unique. We're not on Friday. We're on Sunday. Today, this week, alone. And that's because we have a very special guest. But before we talk about that, 
think it's time we bring on our co-host, Wang. Professor Wang, where are you? Wang, have you made it to the hello, 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 can you, can you, can you, can you hear me? Who I, can hear yeah. me? I can hear you. Type in the comments if you can hear oh. Professor Wang. Please type below if you can hear me because I am coming. I am coming through the portal. Are you ready? Here I come. Okay, I think I'm coming somehow, possibly. Ready? Well, oh, there I am. Hello. Oh, there you, are. you made it through the portal. Thanks for coming, Wang. Hey, Charles Govey is great. Happy birthday to you, sir. Professor Wang, how's it going? Hey. I'm Yes, I wanted to wish Charles Govey a happy birthday and happy birthday to everybody else who's out there having birthdays. But Charles is a judge for Shark Fest, so we want to thank him and say hello to Leonard, Timothy, Michael Pickle, Michael Bergen. So many people on tonight. Yeah, and we just started. The portal just opened. And coincidentally, it's a portal event coming up in less than a week. This Friday is our last portal event of the year. The Supernatural Drive-In! Finally, you've heard about it since the beginning of the year, and it's about time it takes place in the secret location, which is no longer a secret, Amarillo, Texas. I was just scouting the Supernatural Drive-In. I was just there, and I gotta say, it's a magical place. Wait a there minute. There was a murder I, there. The, the, wait, before you reveal the murder in Texas, I hear people calling loud and clear Wang, and they're talking about the Wang Bang Hour. Everybody wants to wang bang everything. It's so weird. Why is everybody wang banging me? Well, we did tell people to write in the comments if they can hear you. So I'm pretty sure that's what they're referring to, Wang. Okay, well, I guess oh, we should have a wang bang. Thank you, Mang. Sounds great. Joseph Flynn agrees. Look at his smile. So wide and friendly. Okay, Jeffrey. I think it's time to bring on our judge. Oh, yes, yes, Wang. What, what can I do for yeah, you? Before, before we bring on our judges, I want to reassess the coordinates for our portal event in texas at 35 degrees north and 101 degrees west and it will be in texas this friday that's correct it will be in texas this friday the supernatural drive-in is taking place in a very special location at the tuscosa the tuscosa in amarillo texas and i was just there actually i was just there less than an hour ago man i'm everywhere and nowhere. But I think it's time we bring on our judges, Wang, don't you? We have to talk to the Oracle and Hillbilly Terry. Yes, let's bring them on. I'm excited for Sherry Davis. She I'm is one Davis. talented lady. She's very talented. She's got many, many facets that I'm very interested in. Well, we have a very special guest today, and that is Sherry Davis. She's an actress, she's a director, and she's here with us, and she's coming through the portal. But first, Let's bring on our guest of honor, as always, our judge of Shock Fest, the Oracle of Film Festivals, Oracle. Hello. Can you see me? Can you hear me? I can do Hello. everything to you, Oracle. Good Lord. Uh, before we begin, I would like to take the opportunity for the listeners and viewers at home to apologize for my poor audio. I do believe there was a literal ghost in machine mucking up the system, as it were. But back to you, Jeffrey. Uh, I'm flattered, but respectfully decline. Oracle, Oracle, did you know that it's Destiny Soria's birthday today also, along with Charles Govey? I was aware that it was Destiny Soria's birthday. I believe she celebrates all month. I gave her a note earlier this week, as it were. That sounds like a jarble of nonsense, Oracle. You sound so clear. I think it's time we bring in our next judge, Hillbilly Terry. Thank you so much. Hey, Destiny Soria, quick happy birthday to you. Hillbilly Terry, welcome. The way the copper. What's going on, man? Cause I'm right here, man. You guys know my song. And I'm so excited because we're gonna be broadcasting live from my home state of Texas. Yeah! That's right. Hillbilly, I know you're a Texan local. Well, I gotta tell you one thing. I know Texas girls. Uh, you know, I'm excited because 
Texas girls are the best girls. I mean, not just good looking, but their attitudes good looking and everything about them is darn sexy. There's sexiness in Sherry Davis. I got to tell you that. I can feel it coming. I feel it, man. I feel it. Very specific. Well, folks, with that said, let's bring on our special guest of the evening, filmmaker, actress, Sherry Davis. Sherry, welcome to the Hello. Lightning Talk Hello. Hey, everyone. That was quite an intro, guys. Great to see you, Sherry. Great to see you all as well. Hey, hey, Thank hey, you. girl. I, I got to say something. This is Hillbilly Tarek. Can, 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 can you see me? I, I can see you. I, I got to ask you something personal. Uh, are you single by chance? I am single. Hey, that doesn't make sense. You're too good looking and too smart and too talented to be single, girl. <laughs> I work a lot. <laughs> a lot. Hey. I know I noticed all your credits and everything you've been doing. You're super talented, girl. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yes, uh, uh, Miss Davis, if I may, I also noticed that you were a multi hyphenate. Uh, you, you are a producer, a director, uh, an actor. Uh, would I be wrong in deducing that you're a nurse as well? Yes, which is why I'm so busy right now. In addition to all of the acting, producing and everything, I kind of stepped up during COVID and um, took a nursing contract. So I'm actually um, contracting with Warner Brothers right now as a COVID nurse on top of, you know, uh, we have COVID compliance officers as well. So I'm even busier um, juggling everything right now. So yes, that's true. <laughs> Hey, girl, I was wondering, can, can you check up my COVID? Because if you look at my mouth right now, girl, look, uh, look closely. <laughs> I, I haven't been wearing a mask. And can you give me your diagnosis? Because uh, I'm a good kisser. <laughs> you may want to see someone about that. But I do believe you're a good kisser. I, I, I think I, I'll, believe, I'll believe that. Yeah. Well, check this out. I'm going to pretend you're here and I'm kissing you. Let me get my cousin really quickly. Come here, girl. Come here. I'm going to be smooching my cousin. Come here, cousin. Where are you at? Oh, there she is. Let me smooch you really quickly. Oh, Sherry Davis, you're so beautiful. I'm dreaming of you tonight while I'm kissing my cousin. That's not in Texas. That's a different state. Yeah, we don't actually do that in Texas. Don't make people believe that. Kissing cousins. <laughs> but it Ms. looks great. <laughs> Miss Davis, if I may take the opportunity to thank you for your service during these COVID times and to request that you stay safe. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I actually test three times a week with this position. So I'm doing my best to stay safe, but my voice is a little raspy from wearing a mask so much. So forgive me if my voice cracks a little bit. You sound perfect on my end. Thank you. <laughs> Sherry, I would like to talk about your movie, Hair of the Dog. All right. Let's do it. This film. <laughs> and what? <laughs> Could you tell us a little bit about this film? Um, well, I, um, it was my directorial debut. Um, it's a short film. We actually shot it in 2017 in Texas. Um, it was the last thing I did before I moved to Los Angeles. Um, and, you know, I had a great cast, a great crew. I knew that when I directed something, as much as I'm into horror, I love horror, and I have, you know, a great fan base um, and, and film family and horror, I wanted my directorial debut to be something that was a little different. So I kind of went more, you, you know, you guys have watched it. I went more like psychological thriller suspense and dealt with some disturbing things like alcoholism and domestic violence. But I had to, hi, Michael. I had to give it a little horror spin at the end, you know, um, because I, I always, I love movies that have a twist or that I walk out. And I'm like, 
what the hell did I just watch? And it stays with me. And I was hoping my ending would do that. And that's kind of what I was going for. Hi, Timothy. Thank you, Charles. Sherry, this is Professor Wang. Hello, and welcome Hi, to Professor our show. Professor Wang, how are you? So, I am wonderful, and I have a special gift for you. So I oh, hope you Yes, it pertains to the purification ritual, and I wanted to ask you, have you ever had a purification ritual? Not that I'm aware of. Okay, so this is going to be good, because what okay. we're going to do is we are currently screening you live at the Supernatural Drive-In Theater in Texas, and your film will be screening here. How do you feel about that? That's amazing. <laughs> people will love you here in Texas and your film will be showing up. Any words you want to tell people before we screen your film in a drive-in theater? Oh, I, I love my Texans. I'm still a Texas girl at heart. My entire family is there. And, you know, I appreciate all of my fans from Texas who have, you know, followed me along my journey and who are watching right now. And I hope you all enjoy the film. Hey, girl, I got to tell you something. I'm your biggest fan here in Texas. That's why I'm going to be kissing my cousin, pretending it's you. Come over here, cousin. Let me kiss your Sherry Davis lips right now. <laughs> oh, Jerry, you're so perfect of a woman. I love kissing intelligent, brilliant, creative girls. And that's you. <laughs> Thank you. It was, it was good for me. <laughs> Miss Davis, if I may, I was given the opportunity to screen your film, and and for the website, I wrote a short review. Would you oh. like to hear an excerpt from it? Sure, I'd love that. If it's nice. <laughs> review or a piece of my review of hair of the dog and i shall just read one portion of it okay. as a first-time director any first-time director could have easily made the mistake of showing us john's spiral into self-destruction davis instead chose to skip that path while we know john's self-destructing the viewer is let on to this via comments made by side characters and underlined in familiar disagreements. Davis instead shows us the explosion and the film thanks her for it. By doing this, we get to jump into the story at the height of the tension and never get a break from it until the very bloody end. For its tight runtime, there is a lot packed in this film that will stick with you. Some shown, most not. A very impressive and polished effort for a debut director. And I, for one, hope to see more from her. Oh, thank you so much. That's, ah, oh, that means a lot to me. It really, really does. You are most very welcome. The Sherry, film was I, very good to me. <laughs> Sherry, I'd like to hear a little bit about your work as a nurse during these times of uh, COVID. Could you tell me a little bit how about, about how you got that job and what the experience has been like? Um, it's been pretty crazy. Um, I just completed five shifts in a row that were um, 12 to 14 hours, completely head to toe, um, even double masked. So I even have like an N95 with a surgical mask on top, you know, and it's, I'm not in the hospital. I did retire from the hospital. Um, but um, this is basically, you know, COVID nurse and productions, which is, you know, I, I saw almost 200 people in one day that, you know, we tested and we do deal with positive tests. Um, and it's, it's not like what you think it would be. I'm out in over hundred degree weather and um, it's, it's in head to toe, um, you know, PPE as we call it. Um, it's, it's pretty, intense it really is it's not glamorous um even though it is contracting to wb we're not at the main location we're at a whole different site where we have a line of people that are cast and crew that 
we have to see regularly and test and it's very, very fast paced. It reminds me when I was in the hospital because I am having to multitask. There's more to just, I mean, we're not just swabbing people. There's a lot more to it. So, um, and then educating people. Um, like I said, we have dealt with um, some positive results, which is, you know, people want to get back to work here. They want to act and they want to be back on set, but you know, we have to protect everyone. And um, that's, that's my job. You know, that's all of our jobs is um, to keep everyone safe on the productions. So it's, it's really intense. It, it really, really is. Like I said, it just, it really reminds me of the hospital because it's so fast paced and long hours. You know, besides your work in the oh, hospital, I am you're an actress. I'd love to hear a little bit about your um, your acting work. What are some of your uh, most prized accomplishments in front of the screen and on stage? Oh wow! So my background is actually not theater. Um, I was a jock. So um, you know, and being from Texas, that's what we do. We you know, sports and cheerleading and race motorcycles and hunt and fish and all that good stuff. And um, especially growing up on Lake Texoma. Um, so for me, um, you know, acting, I think one of my favorite roles was a film called Tilt Death, where I actually got to embrace my Southern accent and, and everything Southern about me. I, I did change my dialect a little bit because the character was from Tennessee um, so I really loved that role and that was a feature film. Um, and then there are other roles that I've done that I'm dying for those movies to come out that just have not made it out yet. Um, and then I have some films that I've played very small roles like blind, you know, with my friend, Sarah French, Marcel Waltz directed it. It's got a great cast and crew. And I just did one scene, but it's, it's doing really well. Um, I did a film called Snake with a Human Tail, which kind of put me on the map with indie film, and it really, really helped my career blossom very quickly. Um, and, you know, that character was something people didn't expect from me because that character was a transgender prostitute, and my dad happens to be a preacher. <laughs> so... Yeah, um, but I, I did it for that reason, you know, the shock value, and I wanted to show that I could, you know, do something that people didn't expect me to do. So I would say Till Death and Snake with a Human Tail have probably been my favorite roles of things that are released. And then there are things I've done that are not out yet, which may top those roles. That's all I can say on that. <laughs> So, Sherry, let me ask you a question really quickly. How is COVID and your art and your craft colliding at this point when it comes to art and COVID? It's, it's really crazy because I'm on all sides of it. I've actually been even busier since COVID hit as far as everything goes because I'm acting, I'm producing, I'm, you know, I'm trying to direct, but I'm, blessed in the sense that I keep booking other projects. In addition to that, now, you know, I do work on productions as a COVID compliance officer. So um, I've worked with a, a filmmaker here, Thomas Churchill, now on several product projects in various capacities. And I'm very, very grateful to him because, you know, not only have I got to act in his films, but he's also, I've also worked as you know, a COVID compliance officer and as a set medic. So I have been so, so busy. I, I work, I could probably work seven days a week, but I'm working five to six days a week between everything. And then I try to schedule one day that I'm at home to do things like laundry, pay bills, get groceries, <laughs> you know, things like that. But um, COVID has actually just been really, really, I know it's crazy for everyone, but for me, working on both sides of the camera and being a nurse and then also getting certified to be a COVID compliance officer on productions, um, I, I'm super, super busy, but I love all of it. I really, really do. Hey, girl, I got to ask you something. You're so multi-talented. I was wondering, are you a good dancer, girl? Hell yeah, I'm a good dancer. 
Hey, I love that. With that note, my best friend Alien is going to play a little tune. Alien, can you strike up a tune so we can do a dance party? <laughs> Sherry, thank you so much for joining us today. This has been a really great episode, and we look forward to showcasing you on the big screen of the next Portal event, Shockfest Supernatural Drive-In. We are screening at the drive-in right now as we speak. Awesome. Do you have any final words for our audience? I hope you enjoy Hair of the Dog. Thank you all for watching, and be gentle. It was the first film I directed, but it could, you know... We did pretty well. We won a lot of awards, and I'm super grateful to my cast and my crew, and enjoy. Such fine words indeed. <laughs> Sounds like it's appropriate to say goodbye to our good friend, Billy Oracle. Oracle, you have a great time in the snake pit. I will see you never. <laughs> there he goes into the snake pit. Sherry, we do something special on the show where we like putting our guests into a snake pit and seeing if they can survive. He'll be, usually Oracle's the first one to go, but Hibbley Terry, who tends to be number two. Hibbley Terry! Wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I don't want to go unless I'm waiting. Wait a minute, let me get my cousin over here. Cousin, get over here, girl. I got an idea. I'm hey. going to be waiting. Yeah, yeah, you're going to see. Oh, we're, oh, hey, girl, come on up. All right, that's right. All right, this is what's going to happen. We're going to be waiting for you in the snake pit, Sherry Davis. So I look forward to seeing you in the snake pit. Have fun. Bye bye. Fun. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Sherry, where can our audience find some more of your work if they want to find you online? Um, so everything's pretty much under my name. Um, SherryDavis.com, Sherry.Davis on Instagram. Twitter is at the Sherry Davis. Um, I have, you know, some movies that are out on Amazon and um, a couple of them on Netflix and several that would have already come out, but with COVID there were some delays. So I think I have six or seven features that will be out on VOD very, very soon and a few in Walmart. So we have lots to look forward to. I have a lot. Things I've done over the past two and three years are all going to come out back to back. So... Yay! <laughs> Before we drop you in the snake pit, I'm going to play the trailer of your film, Hair of the Dog, for our audience. Thanks. How long have we been friends? Are you kidding me? Hey, man, I just friends? got back in. Uh, I left my phone here. Do you not understand the gravity of the situation? Yeah. And so you want me to turn the other cheek and just pretend it didn't happen because we're friends? I've got a better...
Hello. We cannot hear anything. Can you hear anything? Yes, we can. I can hear it now. How did, can you hear me? Hello. Hello, Professor Wang. How are you? Pretty good. Who is that in the back? Who is that handsome gentleman in the background? I'm Rhett. I'm the owner of Drive-In. Nice to you meet you, Rhett. I've heard, a lot, I've heard a lot about you. Thank you. I'm pleased to meet you. I don't know where you're at, though. On the... He's that guy right there. there. I'll see you now. So, yeah, we're about here. Here. He hides in various locations. Yeah, we're about to set up a big spotlight to signal the encounter with Alien. We're going to summon the alien from outer space as the supernatural drive-in commences. Had to interrupt Sherry Davis just to let you know. And Rhett's here, the owner of the drive-in. Thought you'd like to say hi. I don't think he'd hear us. I hope he should be. <laughs> I can hear you now, I'm Michael now. Pickle, Christopher and Chris. Hello. Right over here are the live comments. People oh, are actually yeah. interacting with us right now. Cool, we are cool. online and we have an audience of hundreds cool. of people. Folks, thank you so much for tuning in. The Supernatural Drive-In is about to commence. Have a great evening. We just wanted to say hello, goodbye. We love you. Join us in Amarillo. No, we want Come to on, see the on. light. Let's show us the light. Show us the light. Let's go out. We're going to take this outside. Oh, set up the mic. That's exciting. He's setting up a microphone. <laughs> That'll be fun. Oh, gosh, the sun is setting and people Michael are entering Reagan, the drive. Timothy Artwine. Angelina. I look Kim forward Donovan. to meet Hi, you. Kim. Blank spaces. Guys, this is going to be one hell of a drive-in experience. For all of you who are not here, I am sorry. You are missing out. The last portal event of the year. It's about time we set up our spotlight for the alien encounter of the evening. We will be summoning an alien from the sky. I'm pretty sure you are familiar with this character. He's been zapping into our feeds over the past couple of weeks, uh, controlling dance parties and what have you. Hey, Timothy Arntwine, great to see you. Hey, Kim Donovan, it's a pleasure having you and Scare Actor, your screenplay as part of Shockfest. Jeffrey, Professor Jeffrey, Wang. Yes. Jeffrey, you shall not try to contact alien that is not a good thing oh it's a great thing alien's a fun loving guy he just loves to have a dance party jeffrey but you'll harm everybody at the drive-in that is not a oh, good thing maybe probably not but i'm not worried about that nor should you wang unless you were here if you were here maybe you might need to worry about it but well i'm worried no. for one thing i got to tell you anybody who submitted the director's reel is in trouble because they will be transported tonight also. Just like Christopher Maggard and Michael Bergen and Michael Pickle, they are all part of the director's real competition. I guess they might be in trouble. Are you in trouble, Michael Pickle? I know you're always in trouble. You're just ooh, always in trouble. Anyway, folks, I think it's about time we summon the alien, set up the communication device. No, Jeffrey. Not for driving. No, yeah. I told you, Jeffrey, do not. Contact alien. It will be dangerous for everybody at the drive-in tonight. No. Yes, I think it's about time we say goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. No, Jeffrey, no I told you, do not do that. Goodbye. Goodbye. I hate to say. Hello. Hello. This is Professor Wang. I repeat, if you can hear me, type a message below. Can you hear me? Like I stated earlier, I am broadcasting live from a secret remote location. I am turning you on! My long frequency deep penetrating sound ejector is opening up the portal. We are both coming in for the Wang Macabre. A certain chick lies underground She cannot rest until she is found She's been dead and sort of blue I'll tell you why and you'll be in two Midnight she sighs, he hears a beer fly with camera fly.